clean up there at the good honey bee yard by Hello to the good honey bee yard. I'm Hans here, man, and this is another good bee for you coming to you. So I'm cleaning up these this brood box here. See, I take out everything, all the frames. Uh, the bees, they probably abscond this um, colony here. So I'm just going to take these two supers back home and leave the other boxes here. So when I, when I open up these on the side, I could always split and make more colonies. So bear with me a little bit, you know. Um, we're going to do that little job for these colonies here today and see what is next. The weather seems to be very, very nice, responding nice. It looks like we'll have a, a early um, dry season. The temperature, it's still blowing a little cold, you know. Um, I'm not sure why it, it's so tricky to have to want to open I'm not going to open I'm not going to open this one here I'll probably open this one and see what's going on um, this one on this side here it's a pollen coming in so that means um, the queen probably getting ready to start laying this one here I'm not so sure about it so I will have to do a little investigation um, let's see what is going to happen today. We take it a step at a time. All right? These two supers, these two supers, I'll take it back home and um, keep it until such time. If I leave it here, it will get wax moth, and that is not the ideal thing at all. We still have a little bit of feed remaining. Let's see if I can put it inside here. Let's take a look at the, the entrance of these two colonies here. I want to see if I can open up this colony here without having to put on a veil. You know, that's a very risky thing to do. Eh? Seeing these bees and the way how they behave. 
I'm seeing some little bugs at the entrance here. I uh, want to see if any pollen coming in. Yes, I see pollen. They want to they want to do something but I did not see any queen in there. The last time around. They're coming in with something, you know. But to be sure, I have to open it up. That rain, this rainy season was very, very devastating for, for these colonies here. This one seemed to be looking all right. See, they're coming in with a nice... A nice some nice bags of pollen. It's early in the morning. It's only 9 a.m. So let's get let's get going and see what we can do. I'll probably have to take down these um two supers here as well and take them home. One, two. That one there is just a, a empty box that I put feed in for them. All right. So now you know what the plan is. Let us see if we can execute that plan to some degree of niceness. Still have a little liquid in here, you know. And it, it isn't spoiled. But the bees not taking it up at all. They will take the solid sugar. But they, they're not going to take up that, that liquid. Whoa. It'll have bees inside there, you know. You see, the thing is, once you have some food source, right? You see the food source, right? The bees will be able to get up inside here and keep the whole thing from getting wax moth. So let me just open up here and show you. You see, it have bees in there. As little as it is, they're doing the job. You understand? So before they get by my eyes, I will think I better go and put on that veil. I, I, I um, cherish my, my jewels, you know. I see, I see some of these guys, they don't have that foresight at all. You know, every man to their own order. I like my jewels, so I'm gonna protect them. So hold on there for a minute. Let me go and put on that veil and come back. All right, let's get going, man. Let's see how best we can help out these girls.
City Queen there. I wouldn't put back this liquid, you know. I'll bring fresh liquid next time around. I'll just leave this solid sugar here. So you see, at this point in time, the soap vine out there producing nectar, so the bees are not encouraged to want to go in there. take up that liquid that to encourage them on an every other day basis if you want them to do that so for that reason I will not put back the liquid I'll just put the solid and come back next time with some fresh liquid also put back the supers because the bees inside here they need to start building the, the brood nest of course a city queen so that means they they're all good so I'll take them now to the next step To start building, building population now. Oh, 
All right. Now, like I say, I wouldn't open the, I wouldn't open the other colony there because that colony there is stronger and most likely the queen will be in there doing her thing because I see the, I see the, um, the action from the outside indicating that um, the queen is live and well. So it's just a matter now of when I come next time, I'm gonna change this bottom board, you see. Some of my friends were um, a little worried about this bottom board. If I had moved the bottom board then, I might have lose this colony. It would be a dead out just like this one. This one is a dead out. So um, I'll come back and I'll change the bottom board. I may, may change the, the brood box as well. And then I'll start them into that process of building brood and numbers get the queen laying activate the queen stimulate the queen and when I come next time that is when I'll open up this colony there that colony have three supers on it for the bees to take care of and um, I already have two supers there plus another two I took off that I'll be taking home and see if I can keep them until such time because I'll need those supers when they have to store the honey. Right, so I see a couple of holes there. And right now the, the ground have started to dry up rapidly. And the only little bit of clay that I have is, is in this little hole right here. It's so tick now is like putty but it will be sufficient enough to to do the job that I want to do with it um, I don't want to give the bees any additional work now so that is why I use it the clay here to stop up the hole you understand during the, the dry season period time it, the the um, the holes here is not a problem. Oh gosh! But you see, when it's rainy season time and it's cold, you need to look at this bee here, looking for a, a way in. You know. Right now, the colonies are very weak. So it is very encouraging. To not to put on a veil but you see the thing is I know these bees and them so well that I don't trust them you know they would they would fly and want to sting you right by your eye easily easy easily, easily they come there and they they the in and then next thing you know they just sit down very easily and nicely and sting you right by your eye. They're not coming with a, a force, you know, or aggressiveness, you know. They come in very nice and easy like a butterfly. And they sting you right by your eye. If they could get you inside your eye, better again for them. So, I know that. So let me don't take that kind of chance. Right, so I'm just going to up up all this hole here. Right? I'm so happy that I saw that queen. Huh. At that time I, I was at a loss thinking that I don't have any any queen. I didn't see no eggs. This time I see brood. I see well not brood I see I see some lava so that means they, they're good enough to start from scratch. This rainfall here was very, very bad for these colonies. Yes. And what are doing, boy? 
Right, so I'm almost finished here. Don't worry, I'm playing in, I'm playing in a little mud here. Right. Every little crack and crevice will be helpful to, to seal up so that bees will um, feel more comfortable now. All right, uh, right in the entrance, and you know they don't like that, so before I overstay my welcome, the best thing for me to do is to wrap up this, what I'm doing here. And start my exit strategies. All right, very nice. I have another plan, you know. This plan with this, with this, um, putting this oil here, it working out good. However, I notice when the oil sort of like dry out a little bit um, ants could walk up those and those bees have started to bounce at my veil now so let me move from that front you see like for instance this one here all this here kind of kind of dry out now right so it's not sticky so the ants could walk up there so the strategy, the, the sepi I'm going to use on that. When I come next time, I'll show it to you. And you have to do that sepi soon. Because when these colonies start to put on weight, you wouldn't be able to maneuver these, this frame, this arm, this stand too much. it will be a problem. So I'll have to do it when I come next time. So there's something for you to look forward to. Yeah, man, stay tuned. Um, there isn't anything much I could add to this, this video here right now. Um, I'll probably want to clean up this grass, this little grass here a little bit more. All right, how you like the area? See the sun come up nice? And although the wind blowing cold, but I just wanted to ensure in my own mind that that colony they had a queen in it. So, from three, I'm down to two. Let's see if we could turn that two into five for this coming season. As you can see, as I come back here, some of the bees are still flying the buzzing around me a little bit. But this is about the weakest point for these colonies, you know, from now on, they will start to develop even, even more. The weather went real cold, but we All right, folks. So, TTFN, until you could come back here and look, look, look for me again. Right here. Beautiful Caribbean island of Trinidad, man. Yeah, boy. Christmas is right on the corner, and it don't seem like I will be able to get surplus honey this year because of that rain. Anyhow, that being what it is, come back here, man, right here. Make sure next time when you come back, you have something good, nice and cool to drink. Not cool, eh? Something cool. All right, you see how nice and cool and quiet this area is? No, no fallen branches. You hear any wind how it's blowing nice? Yeah, boy. Nice ambience here, man. <laughs> Somewhere right over there, so you can sit down and enjoy your bees. Where you can go down, you know, uh, where, where you do have no, no wind blowing your, 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 um, your body odor. To let the bees know that <laughs> they need to defend. And you could enjoy your bees, man. All right. 
All right, folks. I'm rambling on enough. Catch you in the next video. Or you could catch me in the next video. All right. Bye-bye.